what's the best way to avoid getting a request for evidence after you filed an application for immigration benefits with USCIS? Hi, my name is Maliha Hug. I am an immigration lawyer practicing in San Francisco Bay Area, and I wanted to discuss a little bit about how you can avoid getting an RFE when you apply for immigration benefits. So what is an RFE? An RFE is a request for evidence, and it is triggered whenever you file an application with USCIS that is incomplete, meaning USCIS is not satisfied with the evidence that you filed with your initial filing for a green card or any other type of benefits that you're seeking to get, and they are not satisfied with the documents you've submitted, so they send you a request for more evidence. So really the main way to avoid getting one is to attach all the evidence that's necessary for you to get that benefit with the initial filing. Now, what are some kinds of RFEs that we see most commonly? The one that we see a lot uh, is an RFE for evidence of, of what's called a bona fide relationship when you're applying for a green card based on marriage. So a lot of times people file a green card application based on marriage to a US citizen and they only just attach a marriage certificate. A marriage certificate is not uh, evidence of what's called a bona fide relationship that USCIS wants to see. They need to see that the marriage was entered into for genuine reasons and not just to get a green card. So a lot of that evidence is if it's missing with the initial filing, you will get a, an RFE. And usually that RFE actually is seen most often when whenever a couple tries to extend the green card from a two-year green card to a 10-year green card, especially if there is a divorce or issues of abuse. If there's not sufficient evidence with the initial filing, you will get an RFE. The reason why you want to avoid getting an RFE is because whenever you get one, USCIS stops working on that application until they get all the evidence that they are requesting. They will put that application on hold, and so it causes delay. So the best way to proceed really is to attach all the evidence that you know is going to be necessary with the initial application. Sometimes it happens that all the evidence is actually uh, attached to the initial application and still an RFE is triggered. I see this most commonly with uh, parent green cards. A lot of times parents don't have uh, proper birth certificates. And even if sometimes we have attached evidence of no birth recorded at the time of the parent's birth, with the initial filing, USCIS will still send an RFE for a birth certificate. This is a trend that is happening recently, and it causes delay in the parent's green card being issued. Usually how we deal with it is just respond and explain the situation, and usually that takes care of the problem. So a lot of times I get consults, I get phone calls from people who have gotten an RFE and they don't know how to handle it or don't know how to respond to it. And if that's your situation, definitely give us a call, let us look at it and see if we can help you as well.